matchup. He's definitely not Sagat uh, Zangief in the opposite way. Yeah, certainly. Might be button check, that might just go straight into it. Oh, it looks like they're going to go into it. And obviously what Zangief wants to do is either to knock him down or push him into the corner. What Yonoris wants to do is just get his game going. Will that meter get Genedjin? It's a knockdown immediately. Works his way back in with bubble. green hand. No Zangief with the, the no knockdown to EX green hand. Yes. Yeah, th this is the last game in, uh, in AE for tonight. He's keeping him out. Zangief cannot find his way in. Hits him with a, hits him with a hand. Tries for the throw. Back dashes. Gets that uh, EX, EX punch into punch again. Doesn't go for that dive kick, obviously. They're pretty, pretty safe at this point. I don't think there's any reason to go for that. He's going to build some meter, chill out. Zangief got tons of work to do. He's running on Ultra 2, so he can't do any uh, Ultra 1 gimmicks. Looks like jump. Is that uh, jab to win uh, that's, it? That's heavy. Oh, wow. Yeah, heavy is just a bit weird looking in this game. <laughs> I'm not sure which version of Yun is better, this or Third Strike, but he's fantastic in both. <laughs> They're definitely it's different. Hard to, it's hard to say. It, it's definitely a different game. I mean, the, the difference between Genji in, uh, in this game and Third Strike is, is the major factor in that. Uh, but I mean, Yun's, uh, every, everything he's gotten from not having third, uh, from not having Genji in all the time has definitely made him better. Yeah, that EX punch being safe on block is one of the most amazing tools in the game. Trying to uh, Zangief just was trying to play his normal footy game. Even just even just crouching medium, any medium. I mean, Tries for the throw there, that extended throw range doesn't catch him. He obviously backdash. Oh, Ganejin should be dead. Ultra. Oh, it doesn't connect. Oh, headbutt. Nice. Dropped his combo. I'm not used to seeing that. It's interesting. It's been a very, very long day. I don't know how tight that is, but um, I, I wouldn't think that... I mean, you could really just mash it out in the block stun. I'm surprised he just didn't go for the, the easy peasy Ganejin combos. Honestly, well, like yeah, I mean, he only had 20% at that point. Like, uh -huh. He could have, you know, a couple of, a couple of palms and a lunge, and that would have been it. Obviously, EX green hand doesn't I knock guess, down I anymore. guess Ultra, I mean, if he'd hit it, it would have been an easy way to finish the round. Like. It's one of those things where if it worked, it would have just seemed like the most natural decision. So he's trying to work his way in, jump his way in. Moving forward, pushing him to the corner. Going for that sand strong, gets caught by the rush punch. Oh, uppercut as he tried to jump in. Oh. Focusing in front of him. He's still in a very good position here. He doesn't really need to take any risks. Gets a knockdown. Ah, oh, just a back throw. One of the strange weaknesses of Zangief is he has no throw and vulnerable moves. Should be Ganej and should kill him this time. That's it. Doesn't miss it twice. Oh, she takes the first game. Now, the question is, is he going to stay with Zangief or is he going to move on? Because it might not necessarily have been Yun that he wanted with Zangief, but I can't imagine it was anyone else. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't think of, 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 of why he would have thought that that was necessarily beneficial. Um, uh, my question is, who is he going to go to? I mean, like, who's Sagat? Maybe I've seen. I think he's been playing Sagat through. Uh, maybe he'll do slightly better. I'm, I'm not sure. A lot of um, Melbourne players and some of the Japanese player feels that Yun's genuine bad matchup in this game is Sagat. The return of the king. Yeah, I think I think Sagat does pretty good against him. Are we staying with Gee? Oh wow. I wonder if he's gonna stay with Ultra 2. He's thinking about it. He looks like he's getting advice. He looks a bit confused, honestly. He's just kinda chilling out there. Uh it's taking his time, he's gonna think about it. I mean it's not so it's not so often that you get this opportunity, I mean. Yeah, that's true. May as well do it right. And obviously this is a, a spot for top sixteen as well. Exactly. Like he wants it. Exactly. It's the last opportunity. I mean, after this, that's it. Go home next year. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, next year. I guess he could come back for Bam. Could be come back for Bam. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly wouldn't say no. Nice, nice plug. Nice <laughs> plug. <laughs> Obviously, Bam is the uh, other major Melbourne tournament. Yeah, it is actually in this venue as well, uh, and it will be in October. So very similar. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll learn from some of the, uh, the issues we've had today. The technical difficulties that we've had. Not so much technical difficulties. More numbers. Uh, numbers. Yeah. There are some things that I would have done differently. Um, I mean, different, different, different organizers, different, different uh, options. But in the end, it was, it's, it's really just a matter of numbers. And it looks like this decision to play, uh, keep playing Zangief, is not working out so far for him. 
he just can't get any offensive pressure going. That's part of the problem with this matchup is that Yun has so many escapes and his defense is so good and his offense is so good. Like, what do you do? How do you approach it? Tried to, I think he was trying to bait, bait out the rush punch for the focus attack. Yeah. You barely even need to, really. I mean, if he was just putting out that medium, he would probably hit it. He's pushed him into the corner. Let's see if he can get any pressure going here. Yeah. No, just gets the X-flip kick and the follow-up punch, of course. Chip damage will kill him. Let's go to uh, the crouching short. All right, Mamochi's on top 16 point. Mochi looks comfortable. I don't think he's too worried about this at this point. I think he'd have to play Makoto tomorrow, so that should be a good match. If he wins. Uh, it's not... It's not. Yeah, the, his first match will be Makoto if he, if he, if he wins this. Uh, Sleep's going to have to really pull something out here. if he wants He's going to have to really around. just either pick it up or... Hope he's learned something over these past three games. Trying to move forward, eating that uh, elbow from Yuan. Jumps in, doesn't get, doesn't eat the uh, first time he has an uppercut when he jumps in there. Oh, there he uppercuts. All right, let's see what he does with this opportunity. He really needs to capitalize on it. Oh, resets the situation. Might have been expecting a neutral jump there. Oh, thank you, Slow Grab Range. Still in a good position though. I mean, if he just plays this around careful, he can take this round pretty easily. Oh, ex rush punch. But I mean, it's Yuan. I mean, a couple mix-ups. <laughs> yeah, he's got Gen Agent. Could be dead. Oh, drops it. What the hell? It's a very strange shot. Very strange. Could be dead. There we go. Oh, that was an opportunity of your lifetime. There it is. Very, a very strange round. A very, <laughs> very hard round. But very. Um, I think that's all we needed. The effects of the day are beginning to show on the players. I'm going to be honest. Oh, it's it's late. I mean, what is it? It's 11 now. We it's start. 11? Well, no, hang on. It's. What am I looking at? No, it's